We had never made a mobile game before. We just made a whole bunch of prototypes of mobile games. All of us were doing this for the first time. We didn't have a playbook that said this is the way that you have to launch a game. Venture capitalists hit a few programmers before we got to our, our launch candidate. Every one of them added something to the game. Everybody starts extrapolating the vision like, well, what if we dressed it up? And what if it had an achievement system? Everything from the offline to uh, progression to like the art and all this kind of stuff. One of our engineers, Paul, at the time was the one who pitched offline accumulation, right? Which wound up being a core component of, of Idle. I would say that that was like our first real pioneering moment was the offline progress. From that point on, it was like a dream. All of us were doing this for the first time. We didn't have a playbook that said, this is the way that you have to launch a game. Our goal was to get the prototype out to congregate as soon as possible. It was pretty hideous and pretty shallow. We had been putting out 15, 20 prototypes that would maybe get 100 people a day playing the game. And I said, Cody, you had 38 thousand people play your game this weekend. He just about melted into the ground. We were looking at audiences of 5,000 as feeling good. So going to 30 was... Like a million players showed up. We're like, oh my God, this is going to be huge. And we were just watching it continuously jump and jump. We'd go home for the day and come back the next day and be blown away. What? We went from zero to 25,000 people every day playing this janky web prototype? Okay. We had a little bit of overnight success on congregate.com. They reached out and uh, said, would you spend more money to get the mobile version? And we're like, that's outside the budget. What we don't have is time and money. What we have is a need to get to solvency as quickly as possible. We took them up on their offer. We, we basically rolled the dice. The timing of getting onto mobile seemed to be long. We were pretty much ready to go mobile in November. Unfortunately, at that time, featuring was a very major aspect of a game launch. I remember there ten being tension in the office about why is this taking so long? But that was the goal was that we were going to get this feature and that's why we needed certain steps. So those were a long three months when you're sitting there from November to February, uh, not knowing what's going to happen when you go out on mobile. We didn't have Moon, Mars. We didn't even have limited time events. We're like, put out the core of the game and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. And I remember watching the monitors, looking over shoulders like, what's going on? How are we doing? And I remember somebody in the office hit refresh and they're like, we got it. We were blown away that we were one of the three icons on the main screen and the cover picture. And that's really, really rare at that time. That day I posted on my Facebook page that it was the biggest day of my career because <laughs> we were on the top banner uh, on the App Store. It was pretty exciting. And we had three million downloads on our original featuring. It just blew our expectations completely out of the water. We had no idea what to expect. We were like, okay, is this good? What does high score mean? Did we break it? The moment we got that feature, it was like, this is a different game we're playing now. We have to become like mobile live ops aficionados yesterday. We really did have like a moment where we sat down with key stakeholders in the project and said, what else can we do with it? How do we get a broader reach for it? It wasn't that long ago when we were not sure if we were going to have Hyper Hippo necessarily anymore, right? So all of a sudden we have this game that's uh, right on the front page and we're like, wow, now, now what? Thank you.